Hello everyone, Denise Carpenter from ReikiAssociates.com here and we're going to continue on with the playlist Conversations with Denise. Today I'm joined by Rachel Johnson from PA... Endless Potential. Endless Potential. E-N-D-L-E-S-S P-A-W Potential. Yeah. Endless P-A-W-P-E-N-T-I-A-L. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to spell that out a couple times, Rachel. Endless potential. Instead yes. of potential. Yeah. Potential. Yeah. That's wonderful. Oh, thank you. Oh, I love it. <laughs> so as you can tell with these masks on, the, um, the audio is not great. So neither Rachel or, or I have COVID. We're more than six feet apart. So we're going to remove these masks. And then we're at one point we're going to go over Rachel's website again so that we've got the spelling of it correct. So today I am joined by Rachel Johnson from EndlessPotential.com or .ca, yes, dot com. .com. And Rachel piqued my interest because she has learned um, a hands-on energy technique for animals. Yeah. So Rachel, welcome <laughs> to Conversations with Denise. Thank you. And uh, it's a delight to have you here. And I am so grateful that people your age are getting into this field because you'll be able to take it and run with it in ways that, yes. you know, are, will be totally amazing. Thank totally you. amazing. So tell me about Endless Paw. First of all, let's spell it out again. E-N-D-L-E-S-S. P-A-W. Uh, and then T E N T I A L. Yes. So instead of potential, potential, yes. all one word. Yes. Instead of the O, oh, it's really, or an end of T. So P O W T. Yep. It would be P A W. P A W T. I just confused that so much. No, no, I got it. P A W, like dog paw or yeah. kitty paw. Yeah. Yeah. Potential. Potential. Yeah. Potential. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then yeah. go on your site and, and read more about this. Yes. So tell me. Tell me about this work that you do. Okay. So it's called Bowen therapy. It's a light touch therapy for mm -hmm. all animals, except for our horses. We're not qualified to um, do horses, but mm -hmm. like snakes, hamsters, lizards, tigers, lions, like really? all of them we're allowed to do. Wow. As long as we know the anatomy of the animal, we're able to do Bowen. So you just look up, so if you didn't know the animal, you just look up the, an the anatomy, anatomy yeah. on Google then? Yeah. And then you know how to yeah do the okay. moves and whatever. So it just there's certain movements over the fascia to send signals to the brain. So let's talk. What is fascia? Fascia is just the light, the touch, um, just under your skin, part mm -hmm. of the skin. And so we're just moving like the top layer of the skin. We're not actually putting a lot of pressure, or it's just very gentle movements. And we can see that sometimes if you cut yourself, it looks a little bit like. Um, like almost like saran wrap yeah. is what yeah, comes to mind exactly. just under your skin. Yeah. So that's the level that you're working on. Yes. Okay. So just very light. And so especially if your dog's older and very sensitive, it's mm -hmm. this is a good kind of therapy for them. Um, so it sends the fascia, certain um, nerves under the fascia send signals to the brain mm -hmm. to kind of tell the body to start the healing process. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So it helps with like mobility issues, arthritis in old dogs digestive issues sometimes mm. like bladder issues or whatever yeah. um so yeah it increases some energy levels in dogs and would you use it for things like others. anxiety as well like yes. if your pet has that i don't know what's yeah. going to happen once we're back out of our I home know. it's going to work <laughs> like our animals are so used to us being home yes. 24 7 it's just going to cause a lot of stress on the animals a lot of stress on the animals if you're not working on staying away like Taking time away from your animal can be really hard for them when they do go back. Right? I guess that's that's a good point we should say right now mm -hmm. is that something we should start building into the day now. Is yes, practice giving your dog or whatever animal time by itself so it's not always depending on you being around as mm -hmm. well. Yes. So to, now how would, what would a Bowen session look like? So. <laughs> it's usually um, an hour long the first session because mm -hmm. we do a whole body balancing depending on your animal so like if the animal doesn't want the full session we respect that because mm -hmm. we want it just to be a positive experience mm -hmm. um, but usually it's an hour long mm -hmm. um, 
doing the whole body balancing. And then once you go home, the dog will probably have a nap or yeah. relax and stuff because they're usually pretty tired after. Um, and so after a session, you don't want to pet the animal because you want to let oh. the whole thing process yes. and the body to heal itself over yes. the 24 hours. Which is really hard for some owners oh, because, bet. and even for the dogs sometimes because they want to come up and they're used to just getting a little pet and yeah. lying down or whatever. But the parents have to be like, "Sorry, I can't. Oh, 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 <laughs> like it's really hard." I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah. and and I, I have cats and they're so yes, cuddly, they are. so they'll jump on me. Yeah, sometimes. but you'll just so have to. <laughs> So, so even them just touching your skin, that's okay. That's you okay. just wouldn't be able just to yeah. And you can still them. walk the dog, take okay. the first swim or whatever. It's really yeah. funny, but you just can't disturb the Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> you're reawakening all of those messages, I guess, and yes. the innate intelligence of the, the animal's body. Yes. Yeah. And so with my dog, like I'll do a bone session with her. and I've, So in between, um, you, so there's certain moves you do over the animal and then you have to wait mm -hmm. for a couple, like a minute to two minutes, mm -hmm. to let that process mm -hmm. for the body to recalibrate, kind of thing, and start healing. Mm -hmm. And then you go back and do it again, kind of thing. Pause, do a couple moves, stop, and stuff. So with my dog, I'll do a move and then wait a minute, and she'll start whining. She's like, oh, and like pet me, do something. Yeah, like, that wasn't enough. <laughs> like, I have to wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very impatient. So. They probably all are. Yes. It feels good to yeah. have that activated and yeah. then that awakening start. Yeah, and I actually that. took an equibo course, which oh. was Bowen for horses, before I took this course. Okay. And that was more hands on practical, like it was in person, whereas mm -hmm. this course I took was online, which is a bit harder. But mm -hmm. luckily, I had that equibo experience. Mm -hmm. So I learned how to properly do the moves and the pressure and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's. Are you allowed to do horses then? Are you? I'm not fully certified with oh, okay. Equibo, but I, I did um about not even halfway through that course because there was just so many, and mm -hmm. I think it wasn't the right time to mm -hmm. finish it all. But I'm open to going back possibly and okay. finishing it. Yeah, but that would yeah. be because those those are the bigger animals don't get the same attention that yeah like the the, the animals that live in our homes exactly yeah. get and I'm not dissing any but no, that has yeah. a stable but they're just bigger animals so you can't, you can't put them on your lap yeah. and <laughs> work with them through yes. the way we do the, the other ones yeah wonderful and then is there another aspect to your business um yes yeah, so I also am a dog trainer oh, <laughs> oh fun so it's Quite a fun experience. Yeah. And how long have you been doing that? Um, for three years now. Wow. Yeah. And what do you cover, like for dog training? What does that? That's kind of an umbrella. Yes. But so what's what do you actually do with them? So mainly behavioral stuff. So um, puppy basics to adulthood and Ooh, so. like puppy classes. Um, hopefully soon. I did oh, do yeah. one previously. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, due to COVID and everything, we um, we finished them, but. Where I'm just not gonna start them again until mm -hmm. the whole thing's over because I don't want to have to um, start classes and then mm -hmm. have another lockdown and be away from them for that long period of time. Exactly. When we could be, it's really hard for some like yeah. Uh, and do puppies do better in a group? Um, do they need to be with the group? It depends on the dog. I would okay. say it's it's good for the puppies to socialize, mm -hmm. uh, of course. Mm -hmm. um, some puppies prefer to be alone, but mm -hmm. I do. Um, like group or yeah like individual group, group classes are yeah. great for puppies like for the socialization yeah. part it's not um like you don't have to be in puppy class for your dog to socialize with other dogs I that's true say. i guess just start walking yeah and, and stuff and like going to dog parks if <laughs> you're comfortable if you're with that yeah. <laughs> and if you're allowed yeah um but yeah and then would you do like when i'm um I'm a walker and I do, like on my 5K walk, I come across yes. many people walking dogs. And some are so well trained. I don't know if trained is the right word, but they're so polite. Yes. And then there are others. Like this <laughs> this big mastiff on my walk that, yes. oh my I God. Guess. And I thought if I was afraid of dogs, that would terrify me. Yeah. And it just even more. So I find the bigger ones are usually like, the lovey dovey, like, oh. so sweet dogs. Yeah. Not all of them, obviously, but yeah. a lot of them are just so big. They just don't have the energy to like be aggressive in a way. This one's that big bark. Just slow walk. Yeah. But that's that. Like, and I'm walking down the street. And, like, oh, and the first time I heard it, it, it frightened me. 
But then when I saw her and yeah. she's got her tail wagon, yeah. and so would you train even the older dogs? Like yeah. that one I would yeah. love to send, recommend. Yeah. <laughs> I have lots of older dog clients coming to me like, yeah. I think the oldest one I've had was about, I want to say seven, wow. but I just got a call from an 11 year old dog oh, owner or okay. 11 year old dog uh -huh. who wants training. And I was like, okay. It's never too old to learn anything, right? No. It may be a bit harder because there's older, there's habits built up. Yeah. But that's the only thing. Mm -hmm. um, but talking about walking, I do have walking classes, hopefully oh, coming nice. back. Okay, good. So I really enjoy those. I'm actually having to split up into two days now, which is nice. So oh, fine. I have two separate classes, so... Mm -hmm. If anyone wants to join, they're mm -hmm. Monday and Thursdays, Monday and Thursdays. <laughs> 3 30 to 4.30. And how would they get a hold of you? Um, you can email me at rachel at endlesspotential.com. And R-A-C-H-E-L. E yeah. Endless and then P-A-W, potential. Yes. I-E-L dot com. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And then I had another question about that. So you do classes for the training. You do walking you do like socialization classes. Now, what about animal, like dogs? I, 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 I'm a cat owner, so I don't yes. know a lot about mm -hmm. dogs, but the dogs that have like more of um, a habit that they've picked up that even even the family, like the house they live in doesn't like. So let's say they're chewing on pianos and things like oh, that. Oh, right. Yeah, so would you work with that? Yeah, yeah, I really do cover everything all of pretty it. much. So all behavioral. Yeah. Yeah, and then socializing the animal, mm -hmm. how to do that, how to get it to a place where it can be out yeah. in and public. Even like basic obedience, like sit down, uh, stay, stand, come, a lot of that kind of stuff. Um, and like other things like demand barking or like the more, sh no, um, I wouldn't say annoying behaviors, but the bad behaviors that, yeah. or, it's natural to a dog, right? So yes. they're just doing what they're yeah they think is they're supposed to do yeah, exactly yeah, right yeah. and we're just training the natural habits out of them oh, okay that we don't want obviously like the chewing the destruction yeah. kind of thing the digging i guess yeah, digging yeah. holes and yeah and i guess if training. a dog is a protection a protector yeah. dog and they're in town yeah they're going to bark at everybody that goes by yes that's their job <laughs> yes so then you would work with that Yes. behavior to Time to diminish or lessen it and, lessen. <laughs> and do you ever deflect them do you train them to do something else mm -hmm. instead of barking yeah. so sometimes instead of like jumping up we'll mm -hmm. tell them to sit oh. give them something, or go get your toy mm -hmm. something like that to just get them into a different routine instead of what they're doing already I, on my walk, I met someone who, as a puppy, this thing was like, it's like a <laughs> rabbit. Like, I mean, roar, roar, roar. and whoever, however the owner worked with this dog, yeah. it became the nicest personality. Yeah. And, but that's what, that's what she did. Yeah. She moved it from this jumping to it would see you, and then it would sit and start wagging. That's and of course great. you want to pet it. Right? Yes. You want to just be with it. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That must be, and this is your business that you started. Yes. Isn't that? <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed. Me too, honestly. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get this far and I'm really happy with myself. Too. Good. And I'm now. And I'm happy I'm helping other people. It, make, it mm -hmm. feels good to like help other people and see the dogs improve and see the dogs mm -hmm. happy and like, mm -hmm. it's just feels good. It's a good job to have and being around dogs. Who wasn't who wouldn't like that? <laughs> I think I saw a picture of you when you were two. Is yeah. that up on your Facebook page? I think or so with me and my you, black lab. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and you're just so just chill with them. Yeah, the same size as the yeah. dog. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, that's fabulous. Well, thank you for coming thank in, Rachel. Thank you for having me. Good luck with all of these things. I think your service is so needed. And as I say, once we move out of these COVID, you're probably even going to be more needed. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so with all the pandemic dogs. Oh, the poor things. They, they just won't know. They won't know. All yeah. they're used to is everybody That's being home right. all the time. So, And again, to make uh, an appointment with you, to book, to have a chat, they'll contact you through... My email or my Facebook. Mm -hmm. Or you can call me at 613-267-8575. Wonderful. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, thank Rachel. Thank you. Great. Right. And thank you for joining us. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you next time.